Hey guys, um, I've had a, a few requests over the last couple of years to do a guide on defence head movement. So I thought I'd uh, just do a video showing a fight with a average skill spanner um, and just show you some of the fundamentals of defence. The first one being close range defence and head movement with counter punching. Now, although this dude is sort of low to average skill, he is still dangerous as a spammer. And all spammers are dangerous to a degree because the style can just basically knock you out, knock you down uh, with one lucky hit, which you'll see later on. Now, obviously, some of the best things you can do is to smash the body counter punch um, to take the wind out of them because ultimately that is what kills the strategy without stamina the spamming becomes less and less effective but mainly there's three different types of defense in my mind there's close range uh, like this getting inside the guard and trying to use head movement to make a miss and counter punch usually going for the body mixed with body and head uh, which I'm sort of demonstrating at the start here. And then you've got sort of uh, static defense, um, which I, sh I basically show for you during this video. It's not necessarily in sequence, so I'll just talk about it. And forgive me that it's not reflected on the screen, but static defense where you literally on the spot like that, uh, moving around, trying to predict where they're going to punch, make a miss and at opportune moments lean in with a counter punching. I'd say that's probably the most dangerous form of defence and I would only practice that if you're really confident and you feel like taking the piss which is pretty much what I'm doing here uh, and I do pay for that later on but it's quite fun. For me the best, the best form of defence and the most effective is to keep distance, control the distance between you, force them to step into your range um, and pick them off with counter punching which I start to do after he catches me uh, because then I don't want to mess about and give him any more free knocks down so yeah, this guy is a mixture of body spamming and head spamming he tries every dirty trick in the book but He's out of his depth, totally. I've covered it in uh, a previous body spammer video, but the best way to deal with a body spammer is to do it better than they do. Uh, and that basically just means block the punches, wait until the stamina runs down after they've thrown, thrown a few, and then lead in and hit them in the, in the, uh, the body as well, and that will drain their stamina quicker than they can drain yours if you do it right. As you see now, I'm starting to lead him backwards now and uh, force him to walk onto my punches, which for me is the most effective form of defense against spamming because they're just out of range. It's an uncomfortable uh, place for them to be and they will naturally try and move forward, leaving themselves wide open to attack and counter punches. Uh, the uppercutting that he's doing, spamming uppercuts, easily counterable by moving side to side with head movement. Uppercuts uh, can be brutal in this game, if you get caught with three or four in a row that could have been enough to stun you or get your life down to a dangerous level, which happens to me when I become complacent. Another lesson from this video is to never be complacent um, because that's when you get caught out. So head movement in general, um, obviously you'll know that head movement is used with the left trigger and the uh, a combination of left trigger and right stick. Uh, you need to have 20 points into your head movement if you want to use it to its full um, effectiveness and it is something that comes unfortunately just with practice and getting better at predicting uh, 
opponent's movements and I, I reckon I've probably put about 3,000 plus hours into the game so it gives you an idea of how much time I've actually spent on it it's pretty sad I don't know but when you've got that amount of time into it that's when you really start to read fighters and you, you, you can sort of more effectively predict what they're going to do when they're going to throw a punch and more importantly what to do after you've evaded that punch so you're almost thinking sort of two or three steps ahead sometimes uh, you're thinking about when when you do get succeed with a uh, a sort of dodge the way in which you're going to counter uh, which is key to exploiting weakness and putting counter punch into good use um, like I say you can do it static but that is dangerous and you will get caught most often it's better off being using a combination with movement around the ring uh, side to side forward and backwards try and uh, put them off out of the comfort zone keep them in a range that's comfortable for you but not for them uh, you can use it to attack as well you move into their space and then uh, dash to the side, use head movement but it's, it's very very hard to master and very very risky unfortunately it's just one of, it's one of those skills that it's very hard it's, it's impossible for me to teach you how to do it effectively on, on a video it's something that you have to practice yourself I can te teach you the basic fundamentals as I feel like I've laid out but to get good at doing it you're gonna have to just practice and practice and practice and that, that will mean losing a lot of fights if you if you're new to the game or your skill level is quite low as, as we've all been at some point I got battered on this game when I first started playing for quite a long time like anything you need to put the dedication in especially with a head-to-head -head game like this there's just nowhere to hide if your skill level is not up to scratch Um. So hopefully now you'll see a sort of a, a bit more of a better a better demonstration of effective and cautious defence and head movement as I believe he uh, knocks me down fairly soon and that gives me a, a bit of a wake up call. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm sorry that it's not more sort of in depth with the sort of magic information that I wish I could give you to make you good quick at head movement and counter punching but there's just no quick fix it just takes time um, just don't give up just keep playing uh, see, see losses as a good thing because from every loss you will learn something uh, and that is the only way you learn you don't learn anything from winning all the time even now if I lose I take more from that loss than I do from a win and that is the way to become great at this game it's a learning process constant so you'll see now that uh, this is the way it should be done really yeah um, I think that's him done now it was only a very a small s snapshot of effective head movement and counter punching but you get the idea I've, I've shown the three different types in my mind uh, of defense and I hope that sort of addresses some of the requests that I've, that I've seen on, on the comments over the years um, thanks for watching uh, if you think of anything else you might like put it in the comments and I'll do my best to accommodate you Cheers, guys.